Hey, I'm Louis Palmer and welcome to playbetterdrums.com and welcome to this lesson exclusively for Vic Firth. I must quickly just mention the stick that I'm using. This is the Vic Firth Vinnie Colaiuta model. Uh, it's a beautifully balanced stick. Uh, I love using it. It virtually plays itself. Uh, so check it out if you haven't done so. Uh, today's lesson, I wanted to share with you a triplet phrase, 16th note triplet phrase. Uh, it's something I really like using for getting into other patterns, other phrasings. It starts with the bass drum. It just has a really nice flow to it. Um, up to speed, it sounds like this. So there's a couple of different variations and way to ways to orchestrate it. Uh, first off, I'll slow it down so you can see what the sticking is. Couple of things to note, uh, dynamics, there's only really one accent in it, that snare drum accent in the second half, but there is a little swell in dynamics in the first half of the phrase with the five hand notes. And it's also important to mention the diddle note at the end has to be nice and quiet. Uh, and also don't lay into the bass drum too much at the beginning of the pattern. We want that to be not hidden, but just subtle uh, to start the pattern. And then it's up to you to orchestrate it around the drums. You can mess with those first five hand notes and play those on different drums. So the first one we had this pattern. So you can mess with those five hand notes and orchestrate them a bunch of different ways, come up with combinations that you like. Uh, another thing you can do, which is cool, is accent the first hand note in the pattern on the snare drum. Sounds like this. So exactly the same pattern, I'm orchestrating it a different, slightly differently, but we're just throwing that extra accent in, and then you can throw that in with the original one. So now I'll give a demo of just playing around the drums, um, some general 16th note triplets and then using that to get into other patterns and you'll see how I use it. <laughs> 